So let's talk about solving the work problem that involves an upside down cone in calculus. So normally for this problem, you're given the height of the cone, the height of the water, and then the radius of the cone as well. It's a circular cone, by the way, as you can see. Now, what's also given here, which you can just calculate pretty easy, is the height of the water distance to the top of the cone, because you can see right here that that's just going to be this nine minus this five, which is four. Now, what you need to figure out to, to answer this problem is what variables you can plug into this equation. This equation right here where work is density times gravitational acceleration multiplied by the integral of volume times displacement with respect to x, where this is your density and your gravitational acceleration, this right here will give you the answer to the problem. Now I'm going to take the right hand side of this equation and put it in the upper right here just so we can keep track of it. And I'm also going to list all the variables here we have in our problem. So we can see what the lower bound is going to be and what the upper bound is going to be, but we need to figure out volume and displacement. Now the volume is going to be a little tricky to calculate. And so what you want to do is you want to take a cylinder and draw it with inside the cone. This is a cylinder right here. We'll give a height of delta x. Now, this is just an imaginary cylinder we're creating for a certain chunk of the water, a certain displacement. But what we can do is calculate the volume of this cylinder using this equation, which is the volume of a cylinder. Now, we already have our height figured out, and that's just delta x. And what I'm also going to do is label the distance from the top of the cylinder to the top of the cone as x. So this will become this equation, and then we have x as this height right here. So now what we want to do is we want to figure out what r is going to be. And this radius, in my opinion, is the most difficult part of this problem because it's not super intuitive. So what you want to do is draw two right triangles inside the cone. Now, these two right triangles are going to be like triangles. So you can draw a proportional equation with these two. Now, the reason that we have 9 minus x here is because notice if you take 9 and then subtract off this height x, it's going to give you this little displacement, which so happens to be the adjacent side of this triangle. And what we can do is use proportional equation between the two, where we take fractions for like triangles for the opposite side over the adjacent side. Now what we want to do is take 9 minus x and multiply by both sides. That gets the 9 minus x to cancel, and we get this expression for our radius. We can also reduce this fraction here to get 1 third. Now we can take this and plug it back in for our radius r in this expression, and we get this equation for volume right here. Now if I go ahead and square this fraction right here, which would become 1 over 9 since 1 times 1 is 1, and then I bring this pi into the expression, what I'll get is this equation total. Now we have all of our variables, now we just need to plug it into this equation. So plugging everything in, we have the density of water, which is 1,000. We have gravitational acceleration on Earth, which is 9.8. We then have our integral. Now, our highest bound is going to be the 9, because that's the farthest distance the water is going to have to travel in the cone. Our lowest bound is going to be 4, because that's the lowest distance the water is going to have to travel in the cone. Now, we also have our volume, which is this equation we calculated. I'll put the dx at the end, of and then we have our displacement, which is just going to be this x right here, and then we have the dx, which we calculated right here. So if you run this, this equation, whether you do it by hand or you do it on a calculator, you should get 748,310 joules if you work through the calculus here. So that right there is the amount of work it takes to pump all the water out of the cone.